Hi guys, it's Ian from DonkTCG here and welcome to a live box opening for Forbidden Light. We're going to jump straight in here because I'm super excited to start tracking these packs. Hoping to see some Naganadal GXs, some Ultra Macrosma GXs, Beast Rings, you know, all of the good stuff that we've got coming in this set. So, let's make a start here. Pack number one, here we go. energy and let's have a look so ultra space always good metal frying pan good happy to see those guys tyrantrum good draw now happy to see tyrantrum in there tyrantrum's a cool card um looking at maybe making a tyrantrum deck seeing if you can do something with it that's pretty good i'll take that as a decent start okay here we go number two And here we go. Gummy, but it's the wrong gummy. I'm out of it. Nice. Oh, half art Yveltal GX. We have a hit already. We will take this. Yveltal GX, maybe not the best card, but it's still a GX, and we're happy to have that. Especially in pack number two, we will take that. We go. Let's see what we got. Okay. The energy and the old boy. Oh, Poipo, nice. I've been looking for Poipos. I know he's only common, but it's always good to see one of them. And you want to be playing Naganado. Sylveon and Avalog. Well, Sylveon's not bad. Rev Sylveon. Yeah, that's okay. We'll take that. Okay. Basic energy. And Slayer, so Frogadier. Okay, 7 HP Rockruff, Inky, Noibat, Flora and Pyro. Nothing too exciting in there, I'm afraid. Nothing to write home about particularly. Let's have another look. Here we go. Okay, so. Get rid of the energy. Let's have a look. So, Aquanid, Clefki, Frogadier, Gibble, Rockruff. Dynacool, Plunger, Froakie and Florgis. I'm not a fan of Florgis, unfortunately. I think it's too much effort on a stage two, but still, it's over here, I guess. You get them every pack, I suppose it's okay. Right, let's have a look here. So, ah. Ah, what am I doing here? The energy. And Frying Pan, Bonnie, cool. Magneton, looks like we've got something coming up here. Lysander Prism, we will take Lysander Prism, that's pretty decent. Yeah, he could see a bit of play in those fire decks. It could be a really quite a good card. I'll move these over a bit so we can keep an eye on these guys. Okay. Yeah, happy with Lysander Prism. Always nice to see a Prism. Although you can only play one in a deck, you know, it's, it's handy to have extras for trade, for giving to friends, etc. So, let's go. Basic energy. And here we go. Dedeni, I'm a big fan of Dedeni. Uh, used him in my pre release. Okay, let's get out of the And Pangaro, yeah, unfortunately, nothing too awesome in there. Let's keep going. Here's a code card. Yeah, basic energy, and here we go. Lady. Oh, Mysterious Treasure. Always good to see Mysterious Treasure. It's going to be a really powerful card going forward. Oh, Full Art Palkia GX. We will take that. We will take that all day long. Again, not the best of the GXs that have been printed in here. Not the one that you'd probably want to see. But it's a Full Art and we're not going to say no to a Full Art. So, there we go. So, card. 
Right. Just basic energy. Here we go. Oh, mysterious treasure. Nice. As I was just saying, always good to have extra mysterious treasure. Wrong Gumi, unfortunately. Krogunk and Torterra. Fighting type Torterra. Mm, maybe better than the grass type. Maybe not. Depends on what you're wanting to do with it, I guess. But Torterra is okay. I like him as a Pokemon. And get rid of the basic energy, and let's go. So, unit energy, fair enough. Could be useful in the right deck. Back to fossil excavation map. Pretty decent if you're going to play one of those Tyrantrum decks we were talking about earlier, or Aurorus. Bar, let me do play that. Florges and Sylveon. Uh, Pulling a lot of the fairy cards here. Which is a bit surprising, there aren't that many fairies in the set. But, there you go. So, here we go. Code. And ditch the base energy. Here we go. End porter. Yeah, it's not bad. Giveaways. Witcher. Launcher. Gibble. Maybe. Zygarde. I'm not a fan of this Zygarde at all, I'm afraid. And Zerkatry. I've got tons of Zerkatry now. Again, I don't think he's that bad a card, really, but. Uh, you're only maybe going to run one, two at most in a deck, so you don't need multiples, I'm afraid. Uh, or that many multiples, I should say. Let's have a look. Uh, Ultra Space, cool, we like Ultra Space, we like Poi Pods, I was just saying. Right, Inky. Leo and Heatran. Meh, Heatran's not great, is he? Let's be honest. Right. There we go. It's a code card. And touch the energy. Here we go. Tyrant, okay. Probably need time for your Tyrantrums, unless you can't hit the rare candy. Uh, Reverse Judge and Neuvern. Yeah, Neuvern's not great, but I do like that the new Neubats attack that gets rid of items from the front hand. It's pretty reasonable. And maybe playing that with Shiny Celebi could be a bit of fun. You know, so you can get the extra HP on the Neuvern. And Moura, Importer, do and Lycanroc. Again, not much to write home about in that pack either, I'm afraid. Come on, where's my Ultra Necrozmas? Where's my Naganados? That's really what I'm hoping for here. Those are the big boys in the set that I want to be seeing. And go, go, Bonnie. Fighting type Gabite. Useful. And champ. Uh, oh, Baby Buzzwell. Yeah, Baby Buzzwell's pretty good. Happy to see that. He'll see fair bit of play I imagine, really good way if you're playing Ultra Beast decks to deal with you know, baby hoofers and um, baby nine tails, you know, these kind of things but I think that's a pretty useful card that'll see, see a fair bit of play happy to have him there we go ok, and well, Tyrant, Recon Squad, Gibble, Scatterbug, Execute there you go. And Malamar! Okay, cool. I did got one Malamar at the whole of pre-release. One Malamar between me and my wife at the whole of pre-release. So, to see him is pretty good. I'm happy with that. Although, a lot of you will already have him. I, unfortunately, was not able to get him at pre-release. So, fair enough. I'll take Malamar. I'm okay with that. So, here we go. Judge, okay. Hoopa, that uh, Hoopa, I've said it many times before. Eric Carton from South Park. Magneton. Gumi, there we go. There's the Gumi that you're wanting. Mm. Pre release MVP Gumi. The, and the other Gumi. Oh, Beast Ring. Yes, we will take Beast Ring all day long. Beast Ring, terrific card. Rare trainer in the set. You always want to be seeing these guys. They're fantastic. Happy with that. And. Here we go. Get rid of that. And three. 
energy. Here we go. Crasher Rake, awesome, really, really good supporter. Okay, we'll see a lot of play in Lapras and Polion, etc. Glaceon's where I'm thinking about putting them straight away. There's Prelix MVP Gumi again. <clears throat> good to see him. Noiba. Oh, Rainbow Xerneas! Rainbow Xerneas, here we go. Again, Rainbow Xerneas. Xerneas, is he the best card in the set? No, but he's a rainbow and he looks awesome. The art on that is absolutely beautiful, as you can see. So we are more than happy to be getting that. Excellent. And that's us now halfway through. So our pills from the first half here have been pretty decent. Full art, rainbow, half art GXs, Lysander Prism and B-String being the pick of the bunch. But I'm pretty happy with that. I'll take that. So let's go and see what the second half holds. And we have to start us off. <laughs> ah. Oops. Some energy and Olicha, Unit Energy, Rongumi, Mage, Clonch, Lysander Labs, Barbarical. Eh, Lysander Labs is pretty decent um, in the right kind of deck. Could be useful. Not something that I'm particularly excited about personally, but it might see some play. Okay, so we have Yard, Halitja, Amaura, Rockruff. Oh, I see something coming up here. Zerkatree, and it's Palkia GX. Seriously? Half art Palkia GX and full art Palkia GX? Come on, Pokemon, what are you doing to me here? Always great to pull a GX, but really two of the Palkia? Come on. So, let's see, and we have Ultra Space, another Poipo, I think that's up to three now, which is good, because you need three or four to play the deck. So we have, and Metal Type Empoleon, yeah, Metal Type Empoleon isn't too bad, you may be playing as a one of an existing Empoleon deck, could be worse. And here we go. Importer, Gabby, Sligu, Gibble, my baby, come on, come on. Ah, oh, Rev Buzzwell, Rev Baby Buzzwell, happy with that. And no, I don't like this guy at all. Um, I was disappointed when I pulled him online, I'm disappointed now that I've pulled him in real life. But Baby Buzzwell, fair enough, we'll take that. Let's see. Still waiting on these Ultra Necrozmas and Naganadles. Ultra Recon Squad. Oh, I think I see something coming up in this one. Yeah, well. Ah, Zygarde GX. Okay. Playable GX. We are happy with that. Zygarde Bonnie could be a really, really interesting deck. Could be a lot of fun to play. I'm happy with this. We'll, we'll take Zygarde GX. And he's also a GX, so we can't really complain too much, can we? So. Let's have a look, here we go. The energy and Tyrant. Bonnie, just as we're talking about with Zygarde GX there. We back Gibble and Zygarde. It's been a Zygarde heavy couple of packs here. That baby Zygarde isn't great by any stretch, but you might play it to help you deal with baby hoopers, that kind of thing. Maybe as a one-off. Yeah, there may be better options like Sudo Widow at the minute, but you never know. Some people might decide they want to try it. Okay, here we go. Get your energy and Judge. I think Judge is going to be a really important card coming up with when N rotates, so it's always good to have a few of these. I think we've got a prism here. Volcanian prism star. Nice, we will take that. Oh, full art Diantha. Wow. Volcanian prism star and full art Diantha in the same pack. That's a pretty awesome pack. I will definitely, definitely take that. Diantha herself is actually a really kind of interesting card with the, the fairy Pokemon. You know, it gives things something like Xerneas GX, but more than likely Sylveon and Gardevoir gives them a little bit more power, eh, perhaps to deal with some of the bigger threats that are coming out. Uh, really, really cool. Basically teammates, but you take it from the discard pile and it has to be a fairy Pokemon specifically. So teammates meet double puzzle, I guess you would say. 
but really cool card and lovely art on it as well. Definitely happy with that. So here we go. Ditch the code card. And ditch the energy. So metal frying pan. Okay. Scatterbug, Esper, and Heat Run. Uh, I've already said how I feel about Heat Run. Uh, okay, here we go. I'm nearing the end now, guys. We're starting to run out a little bit. Still no Ultra Necrozma, still no Naganado. Come on, I just want to hit one of them. Right, let's see. Cartman Hooper, Crasher Wake. Spoke about him earlier, he's really useful. Uh, Froggy Magneton, Magneton, Magnezone. Was there a Magnemite in there as well? There is, look. Magnum, Magnemite, Magneton and Magnezone all in the same pack. Come on, really? Uh, so, let's see what's up next. Okay, that's the code card. And, that's the energy. Here we go. Flat, Heliolisk, Diggersby. I mentioned on the online opening video how much I dislike Diggersby. I don't know why, but I just really don't like him as a Pokemon. Maybe Lycanroc Rev and Discount Butterfree. I hadn't seen a Discount Butterfree today, so fair enough. I guess he's okay. He's good in pre release. Probably won't see any play afterwards, right enough. Okay. Energy and Mesprit, Identified Fossil, Uxie, Inky, Psychic Heavy so far, Esprit, another Mesprit, and Meowstic, a really Psychic Heavy pack this one. Uh, unfortunately the Psychic Pokemon that wasn't in there was Naganado GX. Uh, anyway. Hey, always nice to see pre-release MVP Gumi start us off in a pack, happy to see him. Okay, go go, Net Fight Fossil, pre release MVP Gumi, Noibat, Honey, Bunnelby, and Klotzer. Mm -hmm. I think the quest for the Ultra Necrozma, the quest for the Maganado is starting to look pretty bleak at the minute, guys, but that being said, I have pulled some awesome cards today, so I'm certainly not complaining about that. So, here we go. Cartman Hooper, the Labs, Helioptile, and Toxicroak. Nothing much home, much to write home about there. And that one. And here we go. Uh, it's wrong, Gumi. Wrong, Gumi at the start here. And let's have a look. So, Excavation Map, Labs, Denny, Gumi, Edge Permit, Raquinid, and Aegislash. Again, nothing particularly awesome in there. Come on, we got one more pull in the, the three or four, whatever it is, packs we've got remaining. Let's see. Ditch the energy and Diggersby. Heliolisk, Magneton, Krogum, Crokey, Screlp, Noivern, and Aurorus. Now, I really actually quite like Aurorus. I think he's, he's really quite a cool Pokemon in general, but that, that attack there that prevents damage from evolution Pokemon could be really, really useful in the format when you're thinking about things like Galissapod and Zoroark running about. Okay, it doesn't stop Buzzwall, which is a bit of a shame, but you can't have everything. I like Aurorus. I think that's, that's pretty cool, and there's, there is a deck in there that I think could be pretty fun to play. So, happy to see Aurorus. see here, so, okay, Crash Your Wake, awesome, Ultra Recon Squad, also awesome, here we go, Any, and Sylveon, Sylveon loves me today, I don't know why, um, maybe someone's telling me I should build a Sylveon deck, ah, pre-release MVP Gumi, always puts a smile on my face to see this guy. So, excavation map, rubbish Zygarde, Gumi, got a bug. Is there something coming up? Arceus Prism, Arceus Prism. So I asked for another hit and we got it. Arceus Prism, maybe not 
the best card out there, but he's a Prism star, he's Arceus, which makes him awesome straight away, so happy to see him. And last pack, guys, last pack. And here we go. Are we gonna go out with a bang? Let's see. So, unit energy, fixate, poipo. I think that's four I'm up to now, happy with that. Here we go, up there for okay. And Guzzlord, of course it's Guzzlord. If you've watched the online opening, you know exactly how I feel about this Pokemon and I can't get rid of it. It keeps coming to me and it's awful. It is such a bad card and it's a hilarious way to end. But as you can see guys, some absolutely awesome pulls. Really, really pleased with what came out of this box. As I said, really going for Naganade and Ultra Necrozma. Didn't get them, so what? There are some awesome, awesome stuff that I did pull and some great kind of trainers as well coming out. So really, really happy with what we've got here. And thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a comment, you like the video, and of course, please subscribe to the channel. We've got tons more Forbidden Light openings, deck profiles, matches, all kind of things coming up over the next few weeks to do with the brand new set. So please follow along with us. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all these usual kind of places. And thank you very much again for watching. I'll speak to you next time. Goodbye.